All right, hello everyone. So today I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of a hack, I would say. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one that knows about this or not, but I know that I want to get the word out so that people can start using this to their advantage. Um, okay, so what we're gonna be talking about right here is the image sharpening option, all right? So right now I have image sharpening off, okay? Um, this is because I wanna show you the before um, when the game, which I'm playing Cold War, is at 100% render resolution. Um, and then the after, when I turn down the render res resolution, but I turn on sharpening. Um, now, of course, our FPS is going to skyrocket and our visual fidelity is going to remain consistent. Um, with, I would say, the quality DLSS setting or the quality AMD FSR setting. All right, so what I would do all right, so I'm going to go into the game. I'm going to give OBS a second um, because I am recording at my full resolution, which is almost 4K. So, okay, so it should be on the game now. Um, so as you can see, I have this turned down to 70 because I uh, was just recording my other. Uh, uh, this is like my tenth time trying to record this. So, okay, anyways, we're going to set this to 100. All right, let's apply. Whoop, whoop, nope. So as you can see, of course, um, very crisp details. Pert looks looks nearly, you know, perfect, just like it should at 100%. Um, you know, and of course, this is used if you had um, a really powerful computer, you could always turn this way, you know, up to uh, however much you want. Um, you see, I'm getting um, pretty garbage FPS. Um, oh, okay. Well, it just it just kind of leveled out. But um, honestly, not worth it. Um, you know, I would keep that. Honestly, I usually keep it at 70 in the turn on sharpening. But just to show you guys the FPS that I get at 100%, um, which by the way just means that your just that your graphics card is outputting um, a lower resolution than your um, native resolution, and then upscaling it to fit your screen. Okay. Um, so let's go back. All right, let's go into face off. And uh, as you can see, we, we have the FPS counter right up here. And of course, having the render, re render resolution up to 100 is going to, I wouldn't say hinder our FPS, but it's going to be significantly lower than if we turn down the re render resolution and turn up the sharpness in the NVIDIA control panel. But just as proof, I wanna have this, I guess, documented, so. Oh, and I am um, my Reddit username, which um, is where I posted about this little hack, life hack sort of thing, is uh, Alpha, uh, Alpha FPS1. I posted this on the PC Master Race forum. Um, it has like uh, about 50 likes, but I want to get this to as many people as possible. Um, you know, if this can help even a few people, uh, I it would make me it would make me feel so satisfied just knowing that I helped a few people get what I mean you know a way better experience and you're not gonna feel nearly as compelled to upgrade after this so as you can see right now I'm getting about 90 FPS but I am recording I would say usually I would be getting around a hundred at 100% render resolution so Taking nothing alpha. special but definitely um, not too bad Objective. definitely playable I would say um, this down. is going to definitely be mostly noticeable oh, okay uh, it's gonna be mostly noticeable on lower tier graphics cards such as like a 6050 or 6060 um, 6060 Ti just game, just, just, just games, just uh, graphics cards that might not be you know, 100, uh, you know, um, high FPS in all scenarios. Um, well, that is going to change once I show you what I'm going to show you. I guarantee this is going to help out so many, so many people as long as you listen to what I have to say. Um, you know, I don't want you want to say just listen to me, but on this one, you got to really trust me. 
Well, and I'm playing, I mean, I'm playing like garbage, but I really don't. It's not the point of this video. I just want to figure it out, so. Okay. Alright, so here's over. I'm getting pretty close to what I would normally be getting. Pretty close FPS to what I would normally be getting. Getting round round 90 and 100. <laughs> Playing uh pretty bad, but it is what it is. Alright. <clears throat> I, mean, I have done this like literally ten times now. <laughs> Take Trying to like get the and everything. That was literally the only problem with that. Was that I accidentally recorded it at 720p. Which made the um which made the video look super grainy and disgusting. Um and it really just did not it, it didn't show what I was doing, what I wanted to show. It's just something that's really have to you know, Yeah. Like. Okay, alright. Well, now that you have an idea of what I'm getting, I get at 100, um... We're all gonna be sending right now, Alright, now that you, now we have an idea of what I get at 100% render resolution, let's, uh, let's, uh, get out of this match. Okay. All right, so now that we're out here, let's go to settings. The only thing, oh, and by the way, I have my um, anti-aliasing set to medium. Um, I wouldn't set it to high or ultra just because it makes the image too soft, in my opinion. Medium is, the, it literally, it's perfect. Perfectly balanced between the kind of sharpness you want versus the, um, versus the softness you want, basically. Um, so, we're going to go to render resolution and I'm going to turn this down. What I do is 70. I keep it at 70. Um, now you can do higher if you want, um, slightly better visuals. You can do lower if you have a lower tier, like a 1650 and you really, really want to see a good FPS increase. Either way, it's the game's actually going to end up looking pretty good. 70 though, um, in my opinion, looks pretty, pretty damn near close to 100% render resolution. Um, when we go out here, all right, now I'm going to my desktop. Um, if we go down here to image sharpening, all right, let's turn image sharpening on. All right, so as you can see, sharpening is set to one and um, ignore film grain is set to one as well. That's because um, if you put uh, ignore film grain to um, zero, it's going to sharpen all of the film grain, which is gonna make your picture look grainy, basically. Um, it's gonna look like you have a bunch of noise. It's just gonna look absolutely horrible so i would recommend keeping this at one um and then sharpen i have one you can definitely tweak this um depending on you know sharpness versus softness you want um sometimes like um i was playing it on 0.6 i thought that looked good but i grew to like one um just because it does create a sharper looking image so we're gonna go ahead and apply that Now that that's applied, we can go back into um, the game. And as you can see, um, while it's not as crisp and perfect as 100% render resolution, it is damn near close. And you are gonna see the FPS increase, which which completely takes away any of the negatives from losing any kind of visuals, um, which you really aren't anyways. Um, especially, you know, if you're using DLSS or FSR, you're going to be losing a little bit of visual fidelity anyways. Um, with those, with this, I would say you're, it's very similar, if not the same, if not better. I mean, honestly, um, I did have an RTX card, so I do know what DLS looks like. And, um, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I would say that this, this is pretty similar to the quality DLSS, uh, setting to the FSR, to the quality FSR setting. So as you can see, right now, um, definitely feels much, much, much smoother. 
Um, right now, so we were running around the 85, 90 FPS before, and now we're running around, depending on where we are, 140. Um, it is it is dropping down to 120 at times. But then again, it's also. Much, much more stable in terms of like frame time. This close. Like that. Wrap it up and let's go home. Losing Bravo. And I also figured out that I'm recording um, at my full resolution, so that definitely has a part to play. Um, if I, when I was recording at 720p, I was getting around a 40 to 50 FPS increase. Um, which you are seeing at some points uh, here, but in a high details uh, scenarios where. Oh. Nah, thank you. God. Okay. It keeps that. No. Did you get a quick class? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, teammate. Yo, teammate, what you swiping at? Happy. No. Teammate's name is trash. Yeah, mama tries. Like, yeah, well, you want I would say, um, like, what can you, you could expect, um, if you lower the render resolution to 70 and up, this, up the sharpening, um, to 1, you could expect, um, you could expect around anywhere from a 40 to a 60 FPS increase. Easily. Um, like I said, I'm recording. That definitely has to have something to do with it, because if, if I'm not, if I wasn't recording, or if I was recording at a lower resolution, I would have been getting up to 160 fps easily um versus if i added 100 percent render resolution i'd probably be getting around 100 fps uh as you saw in the beginning so i'm gonna get into one more game maybe we can get a better map And I really, I mean, this is, when I tell you that this is very, I mean, it's, it's so worth it. As you can see, I mean, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. So we're getting around 140 um, FPS right Domination. now. Um, whereas before, I probably would have been getting around 100, 110, maybe, something like that. Maybe 90. I straight up thought that was a teammate, but alright. I guarantee you, you're going to feel less compelled to upgrade. Um, in my opinion, RTX, the only serious, um, you know, thing I see is the LSS being a big, um, you know, a, a big deal. Or a really good FPS increase, but if you can get that a similar chance increase without having to upgrade, I mean, you, you know, why, why not do it, you know? Especially as these cards are aging a little bit. Any any gain in performance is going to be extremely helpful. And um, I would recommend sharing this with your friends. If you if you found this helpful, I mean I really recommend, um, especially if your friends have lower tier graphics cards and really benefit from it. Losing C. Because I guarantee you they will appreciate it in the end. I mean, as you can see, I'm having no, I'm, I'm having no problems with visuals at all.
Alright, buddy. Oh shit! You're dead. Lumpy. I got you. I thought it said Scumpy. Okay. I know I'm not good enough to play with Scumpy now. Not even near it. Oh my god. You're dead. Oh shit. But like I said, the, the, I mean, the FPS increase literally speaks for itself. I mean, it's just, it's too good to not do. I mean, Losing seriously, seat. please listen to me on this one. Just trust me when I tell you. Get quick scope. Dude. <laughs> I love getting stuck, man. Losing Bro. Seat. Owned right now. What is this guy on? Oh my god, I just got sniped by him like three times in a row, dude. He on X Games mode, bro. Oh, nah, they, they just apparently did some fucking. I don't know, they, they, they did something. Dude! And uh, like I said, this this uh, little trick works on any game with the render uh, resolution option. I already had a guy tell me that he did it on GTA, and he went from around uh, like averaging like 40 FPS, um, he went up to around 80 to 100 FPS. So definitely not exclusive to any game, the game I'm playing or anything like that. This is just um, the game that I use it most on, and, and of course it's gonna be. I don't know if I would have gotten that kill or not, or died. I don't know. Uh, 43 and 22. Oh, man, that's... Oh, that's... Oh, God. That's... I hate that. Anyways. That's basically it. I mean, the proofs, you know, the FPS is for itself, honestly. Oh, my fucking God, I'm nasty. Oh, my fucking God. there all right guys well if you found this video helpful um please leave a like share this with your friends um definitely definitely give it a try i mean i guarantee you you will not regret it you will most likely start using this in almost every game that has this you know render render resolution option um, but yeah, subscribe if you would like, and like I said, please, please share this with your friends if you know that they could benefit from it. Um, yeah, anyways guys, thank you for watching. Uh, see ya.